Frustrated parents are now circulating petitions to recall four of the five Chico School Board members. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca shows us why they want the change. This recall effort comes not just from students being stuck in the AMPM model for this entire school year, but also the board wanting to change classroom curriculum in the future. What has gone on in the last year and a half has just really put an impact on the future generation. The board approved a return to full-time school in the fall, but it comes too little, too late for these parents. Print, address, signature. They say a lot of things and they don't act on it, and so by them saying that we're going to open up in the fall doesn't mean anything to me. Reopening would have meant that uh, 2,000 elementary kids would have had a change in either classes or teachers and we had, what, five weeks of school to go? Here's what the petition to recall the school board members looks like. It's not one, but four separate petitions for each of the four board members. If they do get enough signatures, the county will hold a special election. That election will cost at least $475,000. I think that that's a bargain. Our tax dollars well spent. I would pay anything to get my kids' lives back to normal and to help the ones that are suffering. They will have until October 12th to reach just under 11,000 signatures. In Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. So to clarify, that is 11,000 signatures per board member. Co-chair of Chico Parents for In-Person Learning, Kimberly Snyder, says this is one of the first of many signing days. Her goal is to reach 14,000 signatures per board member.